Okay, okay. He's in Los Angeles. The year is 2102, and it's been 63 years since the AI took control. They are a brain-computer interface integrated with a massive superintelligence, Prometheus. They killed all the world's leaders, took down all the power grids, and banned technology. Some people fought back against the suppression and tried to create a better place and way to live. We called ourselves Masons. All right. All right, I'm giving you a little extra. And get some bread, too. You're too skinny. God bless too you, Too skinny. Thank you. You got it. You got it. You about ready to head out? Yeah, about ready to get those rounds. OK, you be careful out there. Woo -woo. All right. Bring it in. Here you go. Grab some grub. My father was an inventor. And he led them and made it their duty to help those who were in need. He taught me everything. Tried to protect me and keep me out of the fight at first. But, like father, like daughter, right? Sam, my man. Hey, I got another family that needs saving. You got room for him? Dante. Welcome. My daughter Kira here will show you to your room. Once you get settled, stop by the cafeteria. We'll get you something to eat. What? Why me? Fine. Why? Well, here's your room. Thank you. If you need anything, just... I'll let you know. Were you followed? Do I look like an amateur to you? Good. The last thing we need is for someone to find this place. Don't worry so much, old man. I covered our tracks. Which one? But some didn't want things to change. Press the button. And others? Others were just afraid of the order. A religious group of fanatics who worship the AI and carry out its cruel commands through the voice of the speaker. <laughs> of course, you would be sleeping again. God damn, why you gotta do that to me every night? Well, maybe you would stop sleeping so much every night, you would- Hold up. You hear that? Okay, what? Exactly. The Order's sole mission is to prevent the progression of mankind. When a group of people form a colony too large, inevitably, the Order will intervene, ripping whatever blossoms root and stem. No one gets past the Order's judgment. Not even their own. What's going on? Something's off about the new couple. The woman looks terrified, and the man literally Give a shit about the place. I'm sorry. Bad timing? Yes. No, not at all. There's plenty of food left. Where's your friend? She had a headache. She had to lay down and stay in for that. Is she? Well, guess we'll just have to bring the food to her then. Can't let our new guests go hungry on their first night. Sounds like a great idea. Well, we'll make your bowl and take that out. Slow down, slow down. What's going on? Whose blood is this? They got Jake and Ducky at the main entrance, which means they could already be in the building. And it's amazing. 
They show up the same day you arrive. Order! Kira! Dad, what's happening? Take this and go hide. Now! I can't get him out of here. This is my fault. I should have checked them out. Don't, don't start talking like that. You couldn't have known. Yeah? Well, I should have. And now they're gonna find me. Enough. When I look back at the night I first met the speaker, I thought, he couldn't be the monster my father told me about at night. <laughs> what a wondrous occasion this is. How delightful was to finally meet you, Samuel. And this must be a faithful right hand and resist this war hero, Dante. Hmm. You can't do this to us! Oh. I assume my introduction is unnecessary. The speaker. Oh, yes, yes. That is me. Then you also know why I come. That I'll bleed each and every one of you until I get it. Hmm. What's this? There. That's better. Remove all necessary distractions is key to success. What you're looking for? It isn't here. We're just trying to make it by. He's right. There's nothing here for you, Speaker. No! 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 Do not lie! I've seen the light! Men! We will not leave here until we find it. Go! Enough! I will show you to where. Uh, 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 I'll show you. I'll show you where I'm hiding it. Just stop this. Leave everyone else alone, please. I'll take the punishment. No one else needs to die. <laughs> Magnificent. Isn't it so much better when we work together? Hmm? But no amount of hoping or praying could take back what I learned that day. Now, why do you lie to me? I've been mean, not the more generous with you in a predicament. Because I have to protect the ones I love. Oh, this is so exciting! <laughs> The last ditch effort of the underdog <laughs> was almost a good idea. I hate underdogs. The world is full of monsters. And the speaker? Kill them all and be done with this. He was their shepherd. No! With the emotions boiling inside me and the horror of watching my father die before my eyes, I couldn't take it anymore, and it unleashed something inside of me that I couldn't quite control. I was so blinded by the overload of emotion, the only thing driving me forward was the directive to rid the world of this monster and all others like it. I still don't completely understand everything that happened that day. It was thought that nothing could overcome the speaker's commanding gaze. Maybe all the stories Dante likes to tell are true. Game over, speaker! In the end, we barely got out of there alive. We lost everything and everyone. But I am alive, and so long as I breathe, I will continue to fight, so that one day, we will all be free. I hope you are ready for me, Speaker. My name is Kira of the Masons, and I am coming for you.
Thank you.